Hello everyone. My name is Kiran. Today I am going to one of the you know real time issue I am going to discuss, and um, definitely it's a, a very interesting. And I seen first time this you know uh, resolution, but it's a issue like uh, multiple times I saw. uh in real time but it's a resolution is a uh, quite everyone knows that way uh, but at this it's a uh, you know little bit um, you know uh, interesting to me and uh, might be you knows very well uh, some people uh, but it's uh, for me it's a new thing and that's the reason i'm creating this video and coming to what is the issue and what is the resolution first of all uh, i will discuss about the issue and after that uh, we'll discuss about resolution and before that uh, if you are new to my channel please subscribe and click on bell icon whenever new video posted you will get the notification and uh, if you like my videos please like and uh, comment below and um, thank you and let's jump into the issue and uh, generally we knows the issue um, this is a app service suppose example one of my app service this is a one okay guys and um, and coming to this is my database db sql db both are uh, pass services okay but uh, organization to organization their architecture and everything it will differ so this is a one of the issue i'm talking about there are different types of issues are there but it depends on the organization uh, their environment and architecture accordingly it will vary okay so coming to here um, so my app service it's uh, within the organization or over the internet if you take it anything and my database should be you know within the organization always um, so due to that what we will do selected public network only selected public network that means we are restricting the firewall but how to communicate is a database to this app service so that's the reason generally we will do um, private endpoint and one more question also everyone will ask there is a allow azure resources uh, even my organization don't want is a allow azure resources allow azure resources that is also disable okay and now only private endpoint is available and this private endpoint it's required some vnet yes so this is a vnet like most of the organization vnet is a maintain the custom dns custom dns and it's a pointing you to the like hub network same thing here and this is a private endpoint is a on that is a created private endpoint and the private dns zone generally in all organization centralizedly one private dns zone they will use it guys they will use the one private dns zone private dns zone will maintain it's a app service separate of private dns zone and uh, sql database like all the pass services separate centralized one private dns zone will maintain guys and each and every app service separate the private dns zone nobody maintain okay even this is a cost applicable that dns recall um, what is uh, that name resolution wise that cost is uh, applicable but how is a uh, communicate with the on premises if it is a on premises generally in on premises dns is available same like azure platform will maintain the normal it's a dns in any subscription or it's a within the hub network subscription whatever it you can take it this is the dns to this dns generally dns replication it will happen it will maintain the same data uh, dns records it will maintain but how is the on premises dns or azure platform this custom dns wise it's a maintain here okay try to understand custom dns it's a point to this one okay now how is the name relation will happen with the private dns zone this dns server where is a reside some vnet is a reside some vnet is a reside and this vnet is a integrated 
with this private DNA zone. So here this private DNA zone, this VNet is a uh, virtual network link wise will do it. That is a link will do it. Okay. So what will happen in the DNS conditional forwarder? DNS conditional forwarder will configure it and maintain the DNS conditional forwarder. The respect to DNS zone will create it here. And point to so and so name relation is a forward like this. It's a configure here. Okay. That is a way name relation happen. Now, question is my app service is available and now my VNet. I deploy one VNet and there is a already, you know, multiple app services. Multiple app services, existing app services wise. It's a even same deep VNet we are using. Okay, example, same VNet we are using. So one subnet for this app service, another subnet for this app service, another subnet for this app service, another subnet for this app service. This is a VNet also integrate with the hub network. Integrate with the hub network. But problem is forget to maintain the custom DNS. Like example, this is a, it will happen. Obviously we are humans. Sometimes it's a, you know, we'll forget to uh, like, you know, create a custom DNS, this VNet. Same thing happen. Okay. The custom DNS, it's uh, not maintained here. Now, app service to VNet is a VNet integration, not private endpoint, guys. VNet integration. VNet integration is a performed it. Now, this is a SQL database is a private endpoint and this app service is a in this uh, custom DN, um, like, you know, there is no custom DNS under VNet is a VNet integration happen. But this VNet is already peering with the hub network. So due to that, what will happen? This app service not able to communicate with the database internal traffic wise that hub network to this VNet and uh, this uh, database it is not communicating. What we thought is uh, everything is uh, within the organization network. It should be communicated. But unfortunately, this is not communicating with the database. What is the resolution for this? Do you think about what is the resolution for this, guys? Stop the video and you can think about that name resolution, how it works and what changes needs to be done. Okay. Now everyone will think, okay, this is a VNet is a custom DNS and it's not available and try to update in the VNet custom DNS. So and so IP address, this custom DNS will maintain here. So mm -hmm. we'll thought is a, this is a integrated custom DNS wise like this. If you perform like this, existing app services are also production or whatever it, your DR development. Everything it's won't work immediately. It's a required to restart. Whenever it's update the custom DNS, automatically this app service will going to restart. So that means it's a downtime it will impact the other app services. Now, what is the solution? First solution wise, this custom DNS update in the VNet, it's uh, possible, but problem is, is a downtime occurred. Downtime will occur. So that is not right solution in this scenario. What is the second solution guys? Think about that. If you know the things and you can stop the video and comment below your solution. What is the second solution? Okay. So let me explain it. Second solution. So how to check it? This app service really is communicating this database or not? How to check it guys? Any idea from app service to database? What command we are going to use it? That is also important. Generally, everyone will think NS lookup, yes, name relation wise, NS lookup, or it's a ping command uh, generally will use it. No, this both commands, it won't work whenever we are using from app service to pass services, any pass services. Like if you take the function app, logic app, or app services, any services, if you open the console and try to NS lookup or ping, that command itself, it's invalid. That command, it won't work, guys. So what commands we should use it in this scenario. 
so that is also important when you want to face the, any troubleshooting wise and that commands also really it's working or not and that name relation is a working or not and it is a pingable or not how to check it i can show you also um let's go to delete this one and here in the app service already i have app service in this generally is a console is available or advanced tool is available advanced tool is a kudos website it's a kind of kudos okay click on go and kudos website it will open this app service related under that there is a command prompt and powershell option is available i can show you and here debug console click on cmd it will open the command prompt even you can see here if i try to ns lookup ns lookup so and so uh, like example google.com so here non uh, like ns lookup it's working but it should you know generally you know uh, will get the some errors also dns it's with the azure services but other than that name resolver there is a name resolver and you can provide the your uh, whatever it uh, that database entire name uh, like dot uh, your name of database dot database dot windows dot net and you can provide it that is a you should use the name relation wise generally it's a recommended to use the name resolver that is a one command guys another ping wise instead of ping you can see ping google.com suppose i am using and it's a unable to contact the ip driver generally we'll get it this error if you are not able to see i can show you the thing here you can see unable to contact the ip drivers if you try to use the tcp ping this is a actual command and google.com suppose is a semicolon 443 example wise i am showing guys you can see here and it's a pingable is a how is a pinging like this so in this scenario instead of google.com semicolon 443 and you should use the your database name uh, your name of database uh, dot database dot windows dot net semicolon and 1433 or any other uh, pass services so tcp ping and name resolver those two commands it's a really work the two commands it's a real time it work in the pass services we should use those command guys so that is a important one point and other than that let go back to here okay so now okay is so how in this scenario issue wise how that name relation it work custom dns it won't work but what is the other solution yes in app service itself there is a option is available i can show you the documentation also i can show you so what exactly environment variable so i'm go back to app service in app service there is a environment variable um uh, generally configuration let me check it there is a environment variable is available guys that environment variable we need to set it what exactly that environment variable uh, what is the name of that environment variable and what value we should provide it so that documentation also i can show you azure app service environment variables if you google it and you will get it like this environment variables and app settings in app services if you click on this one and we are getting like this and exactly what i required dns part so i can search with the dns so now you can see domain and dns here first of all it's a fast setting only it's a you can see website underscore dns underscore server what exactly ip address of primary dns for outgoing connection for outgoing connection outgoing how it will happen in the app service vnet integration wise okay such uh such as to backend services the default dns app service is a azure dns everyone knows azure dns that ip address also they provided 168.63.129.16 if your app uses vnet integration vnet integration at that time your vnet custom dns wise it will go 
is it in app service environment other than that in your app service environment uh okay here where is the option environment variable okay so general app settings this is a connection string yeah app application settings also we can define it okay in this new application settings and we should provide the this value first of all copy this one web exactly and don't change it anything even it's a uh, uh, capital letters and everything that values we should provide the uh, like our custom dns ip address if you have three yes comma uh, suppose example 23 like example wise guys i'm providing here uh, 10.35.62.2 question mark again 10.35.62. something 5 comma like that you can provide the your custom DNS related IP addresses. After that, you can try to check it again, that name resolver and TCP ping, it should be work. It should be work. That is a solution guys. Second solution, this is the one. So one solution for in VNet, where you did it the VNet integration, that custom DNS is not updated, you should update it. If there is no impact, okay, well and good. Otherwise it will impact other services means we should go with an app services. This app settings or environment variables, we should update it with this value and name. Name and value pair, we should provide it like this so that that issue will resolve it, guys. That's it from this video. If you like this video, please subscribe and uh, click on like button and bell icon. If you new notification, you will get it immediately. Thank you, guys.